Okay, so now we're going to work on some of the networking stuff. I've got 50 volts to the panel, so i would be a little careful, but there, everything else is turned off. Um, yeah, so all this stuff is plugged in, so I'm just going to go and route it a little bit, get it, start to get it a little bit more in place. So this goes from the first, the master inverter, and this is the stacking port. It's going to go, I'm going to route it through here. It's going to go back behind my RTR controller. And it comes up over on the side. And it goes to the first port, the master port for the stacking on my RTR. Okay, so that's master port here up to the stacking port on the master inverter. Okay, this is the second one. This goes from the stacking port on the first slave. And it's going to route through here too. So I've got to figure out exactly how I'm going to do this later on. But for now, just getting it close. This goes. to the slave one port, second one down, so master slave one, and that goes to the stacking port on the second inverter. Alright, this, I'm jumping around a little bit. <clears throat> this is the uh, network cable from the <clears throat> The, invert, the master inverter will run up to the network port on the PT100, on the first one. I'm going to have two of these. Okay, that'll go there. It's nice having these cable trays. I can just bundle this wire up out of the way over here instead of having it all over here. This will have to get tied up though. Now let's do this one. Here's from P1. This is the remote cable. P1 is going to go over to the remote plug-in on the master inverter. I'll route that back here. P2, which goes to the second, you know, P2 port on the RTR to the second inverter, the slave inverter. Through here. Alright, so that's P2 to the second. And that's a network connection. Okay, and then I've got my battery temperature sensors run up from the battery, which I gotta hook them up down there yet, but they come up from the battery box. I got three of them. I think I only need one on the master inverter. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna leave all these plugged in or not, but they're all plugged in. Here it is. Battery temperature sensor, this is a battery temperature sensor, and this is the third one going over to the T100. Alright. So, I still have to get my second charger in and then I'll stack it back to the first one. Alright, so that's it for right now. Alright, so there we got some of the wires tied up. Not quite done yet, but starting to come together. We're getting pretty close to that big test.